Um, I'm going to give you a little bit of the history of the Arts District and how it came about. Uh, over 20, about 22 years ago, this was a, this, where'd it go? This <laughs> was a proposal by the Arizona Department of Transportation for connecting, uh, making sort of a cross-town freeway here, um, going right across our downtown in Arizona, in Tucson. Ooh. That was the original. Uh, what happened with that roadway was the Arizona Department of Transportation for the roadway easement took and purchased the properties of many of the warehouses we have downtown in Tucson. This is uh, the Mocha site in, on Tool Avenue. Um, some of you recognize solar culture. There's Astrofab right next to it is uh, Salvador Duran's place. And uh, we have a lot of performances, open studio tours, and a lot that happens along the step. Matt Bevel Institute on Stone Avenue is a warehouse that is gonna be taken down for the new alignment of the roadway. What happened in this history was that Tucson said no thank you to Arizona Department of Transportation's roadway and has struggled over the last 20 years to create their own, own roadway. The Citizens Warehouse is home to a number of artists and nonprofit organizations um, on 6th Street or St. Mary's Road and in the meantime, over this 22 years, there was the Downtown Land Use and Circulation Study, or the Deluxe Study. There was the Study 1 and Deluxe 2, which came up with some roadways in between. Um, from those roadways, it was determined uh, the Tucson Arts District Partnership uh, hired Porky Poster and had a mandate to create a master plan for the Warehouse Arts District area. Uh, this was part of the master plan. You can see up here where the Steinfeld Warehouse was, some affordable housing next door to it, uh, where the loading docks are, became uh, affordable housing, a performance space for artists, uh, studios, but uh, and some other housing along there. This is 6th Street. Um, I'm not sure why you put this in here. <laughs> but this is 6th Street and some other warehouses in the district that go all the way up to 6th Street. Um, hmm? It's the existing thriving gallery scene. It's the existing thriving gallery scene. Thank you very much. Uh, Davis Dominguez Gallery, Platform Gallery, uh, Lula Bells is in there, uh, Raisa's Tires along that street there too. Um, uh, Teresa Tile Works. Thank you very much. Santa Teresa Tile Works is there, um, and it does have a very thriving gallery scene. Uh, one of the, the nonprofits, artists, and bike organizations, Citizens Building, is Bikers. Good night for Bikers. These are the buildings that are hopefully, that, that are going to be kept now, and the types of people that are filling these buildings musicians, artists, performance artists, uh, writers dancers, uh, poets, just about every complement of the arts is in, in these buildings. Um, sculptors, this is uh, Becky. Angry, Angry Sculptors, no who was in the, the tool shed, it's now over in, she was in Dry River the last I heard, which was a studio I was in in 1986, which was Andy Ramos's pool hall. So there's been a great evolution to the district. Um, this is uh, scenes from the upcoming Open Studio Tour, which is sponsored twice a year um, by Tucson Pima Arts Council, as well as, the, as well as the Warehouse Arts Management Organization. Now we're down to 20 years later, the final alignment for the roadway. And it comes through uh, the north side of the railroad tracks along on the north side of Tool and up and going out towards the freeway. Um, hopefully, this will save a lot of the, the warehouses in the district and we have the opportunity now to turn those warehouses into even more studio space for artists, including live workspace. And this is an example of what they call a warm shell that could be available for artists, um, for artists to uh, fix up themselves, not, not a space that you would go into that would be already done for you, that would cost a lot more money, but just a shell that you could come in and put your own imprint on.
that it would be a combination of live and workspace. Um, artists that have been in Tucson for a long time have worked together along with business people to help bring this about and make the Arts District a reality. We hope that uh, you will attend some of the, the WAMO meetings or some of the upcoming open studio tours and show your support for the artists in that. And maybe sometime, too, you can be one of those that has your own live workspace in the Arts District. Thank you very much.